Welcome to another Gardening Down Under with Gordon Pilcher. I'm Gordon, and uh, we just have a quick look at this. Uh, what's happening here. That's the corn that was planted four weeks ago. In the right corner of the little PNP, you can see that's where it was. Plus there was a few other items in there, but we, they wouldn't all stay in there because the corn grew so fast that it was hiding everything. And I was a bit concerned, you know, things weren't getting enough sunlight and so forth. So we had a little shifty around and... Uh, that's what's happened there. That's amazing grace, uh, growth, not grace, but growth in four weeks. That's close to five foot tall now. There's a couple of little ones down the bottom right hand corner of the of the IBC there. They were only planted two weeks ago and um, they were looking a little bit yellow two days ago so I had to give them a little bit of chelated lime. Must have had a little bit of an iron deficiency. Well, that's pretty much the corn at this stage. And we'll keep having a look around the um, system. Right now, here we're going to go to a um, few videos, a few shots of some experiments my wife has been doing. Um, Joanne's planted some tomatoes. Uh, marigolds, I'm not sure what's in that red bag, can't see it properly. I should have gone and had a good look and written everything down. But here we've got mint and probably basil and all those sorts of things. And looks like a few chives and a few more leeks because one of the things I love is potato and leek soup. So lots of leeks. Okay, this is tomatoes. Played at the same time, as you can see they're starting to flower up. And they're looking really great. Can't wait to pick some of those. Nothing nicer than a salad sandwich, particularly in the weather at the moment. And that's the lettuce that was planted at the same time. I've already been peeling a few leaves off that and it tastes great. Down in the left hand corner we've got some sage and oregano. Over the right here, that's my courgettes or zucchinis, I think you call them in America. And that's some very sad looking little leeks in the white bag. that. They were really sad when we first got them. Normally I try not to buy plants from a um, um, nursery because I never quite know for sure what condition they're in. But they were looking almost dead and they're starting to come away now. The cucumbers are doing really good. Pretty happy there. Try and get a bit of shot here. Oh, there's a few chives in amongst those at sage and oregano. Chives go well in the um, salad sandwiches as well. Looks like there's a little tomato in the foreground too. Since my wife's got the bug, she's, she's popping things all over the place and I'm sort of a little confused as to where things are sometimes, particularly as if I'm looking through a, a viewfinder on a camera. But it's a good thing that what I'm finding is that not just it's not just myself that's got into this, it's my wife, my son and um, if quite a few other people have shown some interest, but I'm just getting them to actually set up their own systems has been a bit of a hassle. That IBC is not on a slope. I did not have the camera sitting on the tripod properly. I only got one leg on the tripod shorter than the other. And there's the big wooden grow bed that we we're talking about. Eight foot by four foot. Um, that's 2.4 by 1200. Uh, 2.4 meters by 1.2 meters. And roughly about eight inches deep. And the design of that is, is a bit of a multi-purpose, as you'll see shortly in another shot. The little stand pipe there at the far end of the white pipe sticking up is it currently set to about two and a bit inches, or 50 mil. And it's a little sleeve and I can pull the sleeve out at any time, change the height of that sleeve, and drop a sheet of polystyrene over in there, and, and this polystyrene will float and give me a deep water culture or deep water raft, however you want to put it. And the raft just floats on top with holes in it. You just drop your net cups through it and it works, works very, very well, particularly for leafy greens. But that, that's a multi-purpose bed, that one. And there's uh, two, four, six, at least six of those going in. 
Well, that's it for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Well, if you enjoyed it, click the little thumbs up button at the bottom. This is Gordon signing off for another time. It's the 25th of the 10th today. Bye.